Hey everyone, what's going on? Carlos here with an update on the Prey movie. So the San Diego Comic-Con event had a special screening of the Prey movie. I read that there were only around 300 seats available, so a good number of people got to see it early before release date. And as I go through the Twitter feeds about the movie, it seems to be mostly very positive reactions. A lot of people are praising the movie to be just as good as the original film, and even being a great addition to the Predator film franchise. Fans are saying this is the movie they really wanted, to bring back the glory the Predator once had. After the movie was done, the crowd gave the cast a standing ovation for an excellent film. It seems like a lot of people really enjoyed the film. The entire cast did a very good job in their roles, and Amber Midthunder is getting a lot of praise for her role as Naru. The feral predator is said to act like a gladiator in terms of how it acts, moves, and executes. It presents itself as a true warrior that lives to hunt. Fans really seemed to like what they saw during the early screening. However, I also read that not everyone with a ticket was able to get in. I read that it's because seats got filled up pretty fast. It's supposed to contain a lot of action and it creatively takes it in a new direction. The characters are great alongside a menacing Yauchua design. Some people might even say it surpasses the original film from 1987. The movie is extremely violent with a lot of gore. One could say it's not just another Predator movie, but one of the best action slash horror films ever. One thing that's difficult to do with films is create a character that fans can get attached to, someone they can connect with and have an interest in understanding, a character that makes you care about what happens to them and where their story is going. But this movie seems to have done a lot of things right, like the cinematography, music, sound, design, action, violence, performances, pacing, mood, and atmosphere. Everything just seems to flow perfectly in this movie, and the runtime is around 90 minutes. But it's a thrill ride that makes it care about the main characters. A lot of fans took a huge interest into Dutch from the first movie. I also liked Mike Harrigan from the second movie. Even Royce from the third movie had a small impact on me in wanting to know more about the character. However, the fourth film, well, not so much. And as for the feral predator, it seems like they went beyond the normal scope of how the predator is portrayed. It's now supposed to be more animalistic in ways we haven't seen before. A lot of praise is given to Amber Midthunder for her role as Naru. It seems like she pulled it off and delivered a great performance. The movie goes back to the basics of a thrilling hunt and it delivers everything that you might want from a predator movie including its brutal primal glory. Prey pays homage to the original Predator while delivering something fresh. It's a combination of raw action balanced with suspense. Dan Trackenberg knows how to keep you invested. While it is a Predator movie, it's said to be different from the others. However, Prey still manages to capture the spirit of the films, while also featuring an unexpected hero that's easy to root for. Visually, the movie is stunning and intensely violent. Overall, the fans that attended this special screening were very pleased with what they saw, so I don't have any doubts about the film yet, but I am excited to see it when it's released for everyone. Based on the reactions on social media, I think the rest of us are going to enjoy the film. It's about two weeks away until the rest of us can see the movie on Hulu or other streaming services that Disney owns. When I get to see it, I'll get back to you and we can talk about everything. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.